Okay, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the drilling rig. Um, up there you can see the derrick. Uh, uh, from one side of it, you can just about see there's a line that comes down to the left, to those yellow things on the floor over there. That line there is called the Geronimo line. Now, as we're drilling, there's a chap that sits right up in the derrick up there. And his job, he's called the derrickman. And his job is to make sure that the next bit of pipe is lined up for us to carry on drilling. Uh, and if something very, very bad happened, which is very, very unlikely, he needs an escape route. And that's called the Geronimo line. So if he needed a quick way to get off there, he would have to slide all the way down that on a piece of equipment and he'd land just down by those yellow things. Um, so here we can see this is all the drill pipe laid out horizontally and this is the pipe we're going to use as we carry on drilling. We're going to attach all these together and as we finish drilling you can see there the giant yellow thing up there. That's called a top drive. Now the top drive is pretty cool because it allows us, you can just about, if you look closely, you can just about see it rotating. The top drive allows us to rotate, it allows us to lean on the bottom, like put weight on the bit they call it, uh, and it also allows us to pump fluid down through the middle of the drill string. And what that does is keeps the bit cool, and it also transports all of the things that we've drilled, all the cuttings they call it, back up to surface. And I'll show you more about what we do with the cuttings of surface later on when we go around the rest of the rig. But yeah, this piece of equipment here, this is what we use to pick up all the drill pipe, and it goes up through that ramp onto the drill floor, which is where we're about to head. So I'm on my way up to the drill floor right now, which is where they make the connections and where they control everything we need to do when it comes to drilling the hole. Just a quick look at the view. You can see that's where we just did the live stream from down there. It looks kind of like a bus shelter and the Eden biomes probably 500 meters over the other side of that hill. So this is the drill floor. Now there's a lot of terms on the drill floor that were coined during the, basically with the oil and gas industry. Here you can see the drill pipe. Sorry Radek. <laughs> All good? <laughs> so here's the drill pipe rotating. So we're currently rotating at 20 RPM. And believe it or not, that's gradually going, that's going at four and a half meters an hour. If I zoom up, you can see up to the top drive that I was just talking about. Now, that bit there you can see, the platform, with all the fingers sticking out of it, that's called the fingerboard. Now, on the fingerboard is where the derrickment stands, and the pipe you can see on the right-hand side is the next bit of pipe that's going to go in the hole. So his job is to line it up, and once we finish drilling this piece of, piece of pipe, we're going to attach the next one on and we'll carry on drilling like that. The big red thing on the far side, that's what's called an iron roughneck. And what that does is it allows you to torque two bits of pipe together. We have to be very careful about how we torque the joints together because obviously it's going very, very far down the hole. The big blue thing you can see at the back, that's called the draw works. Now that allows us, that's essentially a giant winch it allows us to pull the cable in and out, and that means that the top drive can go up and down. This room here you see on the left, that's called the doghouse. The doghouse is where the driller sits. Let's see if I can get an image of him. So there's a driller sitting there in his seat. So what I do is I go around the other side of the doghouse. Try and get a close up of us drilling. So we're coming out the other side of the, the drill floor here. It's quite noisy over here. But you can see all of our equipment here, right? So on the left hand side over there, those are generators. So that provides all of the power for the rig. So it's not dependent on mains electricity. What you can see here, these three enormous blue things, those are what are called tri triplex pumps. And that allows us to pump the fluid that I was talking about down the hole. Everything to the right hand side here, 
This is all to do with mixing the new fluid in order to drill it, to basically pump it down the hole to help us carry on drilling. Um, the lagoon there, that's our water supply. Now we use that for both drilling and also for when we're testing the well. We'll either be pumping fluid into the well from there or we'll be pumping fluid from the well into the lagoon. It's essentially a big storage capacity for us. Looking further around to the right, everything over here is the equipment we use to process the fluid that's been down the hole. It's carried all the rock cuttings to surface and then what we need to do then is separate all the fluid from the cuttings so we can recycle the fluid and put it back down the hole but also then separate the cuttings so we can either analyze them or we can dispose of them responsibly. We'll go down and have a look. One of the most important pieces of equipment that we have on the entire of the rig, this is called a blowout preventer. Now, a lot of this is to do with the legislation we have to follow. It's all to do with the oil and gas industry, but this essentially allows us to control all of the pressures that are downhole. So if we ever lose control of the pressure in the environment downhole, we can shut all of these big, they're called rams, we can shut them all, and that allows us to completely kill off the well, and we can control and gradually release the pressure to then maintain control again. It's a very important piece of equipment, and it's all involved in a, in a subject called well control. It's the most important thing that we do, is to make sure that we're on top of our well control measures, to basically ensure that we are acting safely and responsibly. We're heading up now to look at the cuttings handling equipment. What you can see here on the right hand side, this is where all of the cuttings comes out and this is separated. So that is what's come out of the hole. So the small sample that you were shown earlier on the live stream was basically a tiny, tiny fragment of what you can see there. This is the primary piece of equipment that we use to separate the fluid from the cuttings. These are what's called shakers. And essentially it's a big screen, kind of like a very fine sieve, and they shake very, very quickly. And you see all that fluid bouncing up and down there? That's the mud that we've been putting down hole. And after that, all that does is make sure the fluid drops through the screens and all the cuttings, they drop into this tank. And you can see right here, they're all sitting there. And that's where Maddie, the geologist, will come and scoop it all up and then she'll take it and an analyze it under a, a, a microscope. So we've got three of these. So that's pretty much it. At the moment we're 3,000, sorry, 4,352 meters deep. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks we'll know what we're dealing with and hopefully we'll have hit a fault that we need to be able to complete our two well system.